telling you, I have just done, look at that. What's that, a quarter cup of fresh herbs? I've got some parsley, oregano, and some dill in for this delicious, these stuffed grape leaves I'm gonna make. And that's going into some ground beef here that has some onions and garlic and some raw rice. That's right, rice that has not been cooked yet. Now I let this mixture cool down and I'm putting these herbs in cool. What I'm gonna do in a second is stuff them into these grape leaves. So I just wanna mix this around. Now, I didn't put it in and cook the herbs into it because after I stuff the grape leaves, they're gonna go in this dish and they're gonna cook in the oven. So we'll do that in a second. I just had to let this cool down and then get this all incorporated in. Before we do anything else, let's stuff some leaves. Cause I gotta get these leaves in the oven. They're gonna spend about an hour in there at about 375. So here's your grape leaf, nice young leaf. It's picked, rolled up, put in a jar, put it in a can, a little bit of a hot brine poured in there. This is gonna be the inside and we wanna watch for these stems. Take those out. Now I learned this from a friend of mine at Vula's Cafe. Vula herself taught me this, so I know she's gonna be watching and I hope I'm gonna do it right. Now I'm doing it right. She gave me a good rundown. Okay, so we take a little bit of the mixture, pop it in the middle, it's about a tablespoon. Now you can stuff this with what you want. Maybe you wanna do it with some chicken or some lamb. The idea though is the rice isn't cooked yet. The rice is gonna cook when it goes into this dish by adding either in some chicken stock, white wine, some water. So here's what we do, we fold this side over. Kind of bring it towards the back. There we go. This is kind of like little miniature Havana. This is like Havana meets, uh, meets Greece. And take it over and right, look at that. About an inch by two inches, put it down on its seam, right like that. Okay, so when it starts to cook that rice inside and it starts to expand, it does an unravel. So you grab this bad boy. They're gonna be different sizes, so you're gonna have to just, you know, play the game and see how much stuffing you're gonna put in. A little bit in there, maybe a touch more. And we just keep going and going and going. All right, this is the last one. You know, they all vary in different size, so gotta kinda eyeball how much mixture I'm gonna put in there. Okay, so there's that over. Takes a little bit of time. This is when you call the kids in to come help you or invite some friends over. But oh, these are so good. Wait till you taste this lemon sauce we're gonna put over the top. Okay, so that looks good. Done with these bad boys. This can come out of my way. Uh, let me fire this pan up because I need to get these breasts, these chicken breasts working. Okay, now, what am I gonna do with them? Well, I'm gonna add a little bit of water and just a touch just to put a little bit on top, and this is gonna help cook that rice, but you never know how hard they're you know, packed in here. So I just wanna see a little bit of water, just a little bit rise to the top. There we go. Let's get some butter in there. And we'll just lay some pats on here. Now this will add some real nice flavor and some moisture. And while I'm doing that, you know what? I might as well throw a little bit of butter in there because this I'm gonna need to get going here in a second. This will work for my chicken breasts. Okay, uh, aluminum foil. Really wanna put a nice seal on this. So hope foil with no uh, holes in it. And it's gonna go in the oven 375 degrees for about an hour. And that's to steam it. And that's gonna be steaming the rice and, and cooking that. And it's also gonna be tenderizing, or making those leaves nice and tender. So this goes down. There we go. Okay, now what I need to work on is a little bit of a slurry, cornstarch and water to make myself a little thickener that I'm doing with some chicken stock. So, uh, dig the cornstarch out there. Kind of a 50-50 ratio. Here we go. Okay, and so this is gonna go into this chicken stock. Now what am I doing with this? Well, I've got this nice and hot here and you gotta put the cornstarch mixture in there when it's hot, that'll help it react, okay? I'm gonna put this into this chicken stock and this is gonna start to thicken up. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take this, mix it with some egg whites over there. Give that a chance to thicken up. Now this is going to make our lemon sauce. So let me let that thicken up for a second. Roll out a couple fat lemons. You should smell the flavors coming out of this. Now I'm gonna pop this in the oven in just a second because it can't finish cooking all the way here in the pan. This is, wow, look at that. See how fast that got thick? Nice and thick. Okay, now we bring this over here. Now, we gotta add this in slowly. These are, these are the egg whites right here, and if we add it in too fast, well, we're gonna kinda make ourselves a, a scrambled egg white mess. So we're gonna temper this a little bit, just with a 
little bit of the mixture at a time, and eventually we can add everybody in. But this is gonna be a really nice light lemon sauce. Thick but light, you know what I mean. Okay, and this is gonna go on top of those uh, stuffed grape leaves. There we go. There we go, now everybody in. Okay, and here we go, gonna put in some lemon. Try to catch those seeds, no surprises. Well, about one and a half should work good on this. There we go. I think fresh lemon in this, when you're making the sauce, it's called lemon sauce, I think fresh lemon's really key on this one. And there's another seed. I like those presses sometimes, you see me use those. Okay, this thing's cracking away over here. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up, hit a little bit of uh, salt and a little pepper into here. And what I want to do is leave this uh, a little bit warm, so I'm going to pour it back into the pot. There we go. And let this kind of sit over here on the stove. Just keeping it, you know, kind of a, not even really a simmer, just warm. Now, what I'm going to do is spoon a little bit of this lemon sauce over the top of these dolmas, the stuffed grape leaves. Stuffed with beef, the rice is cooked right in. Mmm. That's fantastic. Here's a big toast to all my friends at Bula's.